Hi guys, Dan here, and in today's video, I want to show you how to get that cool freeze frame introduction effect, similar to the one in Snatch by Guy Ritchie, using just Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So let's jump straight in. So first thing you need to do is to drag your selected clip into the timeline. In my example, I'm going to use this shot here. Scrub your way through to the timeline to the point where you want to freeze, make a cut, export that frame as a TIFF file and name it Freeze Frame Shot. Now there's a lot of other videos out there that show you how to do this similar effect, but I'm using Photoshop to do all the heavy lifting, so when you render it out in Premiere, it's not going to be as taxing on your computer. After that, jump into Photoshop and open the file we just made. What we're going to do here is, with the pen tool selected, draw around the figure as best you can. This will take you a few minutes to do, so let's fast forward this part. Once you're happy, right click and hit make selection, making sure that the radius is set to zero. Click OK. Now we have a nice clean selection, we want to copy and paste that selection to a new layer like so. As you can see, when I hide the layer below, you can see the new layer that we've just made. With our new layer selected, right click and choose blending options. This will bring up a new menu and we want to select outer glow. Click on that to reveal the options to tweak. Set opacity to 100 spread to 100 and finally adjust the size to give your layer the white border tailored to the size you want. I set mine to around 16. When you're happy click OK and now you can see we have a cool white outline around our person here. Next up select file and choose place linked and I'm going to grab a background that I've downloaded for free. If you search grungy backgrounds you can choose one too and grab the particular colour you like. In my case I'm going for this blue textured one. Adjust the size so it fills the whole canvas and then just grab the layer and drop it down underneath the next one like so. Now we have the person cut out, the blue background and finally the original image underneath. Now you can leave it like that or click over to the adjustment tab here and choose black and white. Hold down alt and click between the two layers here so this adjustment will only affect the layer below only. You can make additional tweaks by using the sliders here. Once you're happy, highlight the adjustment and the top layer and merge them all so the effects are now baked into one layer. Last thing to do in Photoshop now is to save this as a PSD file and hop back over to Premiere Pro. Import the PSD file into the project and this is pretty important, select individual layers. If you don't, Premiere will just flatten the whole image and we don't want to do that. Click OK. We now have a new folder in our project with the newly created layers. Separate the two clips in the timeline and drag the bottom layer to the middle here. It's totally up to you how long you want to make the duration of the pause frame. If you hold down shift and the right arrow key from the start of the clip it will jump 5 frames. I did this 10 times and I think it will be enough of a pause for this particular clip. Next drag and drop the blue background layer and then finally the top layer. What we want to do now is animate these layers a little using keyframes. Choose the top layer, go to the beginning of that clip, go to the effects tab, click those two stopwatch icons next to position and scale to make your first pair of keyframes. Move over five frames or so from the beginning of the clip, then scale the top layer up a little and position it slightly to the left, so we have a bit of space to put some text there later. Hit the little diamond here to create another keyframe and scrub over 5 frames before the end and do it again. Highlight the first pair of keyframes at the beginning of the clip and paste them at the end. Highlight the first keyframes and choose Ease In and the next two to Ease Out. And do this for the last ones too. Now when you play it back it will animate like so. Next up we want to animate the blue background into the shot. Make sure you select the layer and position it out of shot. Hit the stopwatch icon again to create the keyframe and scrub to the position where you'd like the background to slide in. Now 
and repeat the process in reverse again at the end of the clip to have the background slide out of shot. Now scrub through again to the point where the person is zoomed in and add a title. And finally, if you fancy it, you can also add in a subtle film grain overlay for added effect. If you want the download to this and the blue textured background, you can download it for free in the description below. And there you have it, a freeze frame intro effect inspired by the film Snatch. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Turn that thumb blue, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button, and I'll see you in the next one.